What's going on guys? Britter here. Today we're going to check out a new game called Dinkum. I'm super excited. So let's jump into it. Let's make our person here. Um, what kind of hair are we going to have? We'll do that. Those kind of eyes. These are some weird noses. We're gonna go with that one and a purple shirt. It doesn't wanna let me do Brit 3R, so we're gonna do the traditional Britter. What is our island's name? Um, what should our island's name be? Island name, island name. Tafiti. All right. A long time ago, everything went south. Almost everybody was forced to move, move to South City. The people of South City live cold and miserable lives. You were born here. Looks very dreary. Most people have no desire to leave. What? Why? But you do, more than anything. Sure do. And you might have found a way out. This looks like prison. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to my old home, Tafiti. Voyage and accommodation will be your initial compensation. Anyone interested? Oh, I missed it. Oh my gosh, it was too fast. You leave for Tafiti today. Bye-bye, Grandma. I'm leaving this cold, dreary place. Not coming back. interesting mode of transportation here. You are now flying over to Fiji and will be landing shortly. All passengers, please prepare to leave the airship. What, what are they just going to dump me out? Did they just dump me out in the middle of nowhere? Okay, looks like we've landed. Oh, Grandma came with. I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you've decided to accompany me on this adventure, Britter. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were f the first and only person to respond to my ad, I knew you were the right person for the job. Oh dear, look at old Fletch Waffle on. Let's get cracking, Britter. I'll see you outside, okay? Initial thoughts. Fletch talking is really annoying. Look at this. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. Smell that fresh air. I'll tell you what. It feels good to finally be back on Tafiti. Now, Britter, I'm going to need your help getting settled, okay? I'll give you this base tent. Take your time and find a good place for it. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map as well. If you have any questions, please just ask me. I haven't been back to Tafiti for a very long time, but I think I can still be helpful. I'll be waiting by the dock until you set up the base tent. So if you get lost, just check your map to find the dock again. Good luck, Britter. Heck yeah, I got a base tent. Base of operations. And an island map. Heck yeah. Ah, there's a kangaroo. Oh my gosh. Open pockets. Okay, let's check out the map here. So we're here, and we want a town hub. Oh man. Where are we going to have our town hub be? <laughs> I 
feel like the plains is going to be a good place. We're kind of far away from there, though. Let's see if we can make it there. I don't even know. Collect, collect. I'm sure all this stuff will be useful at some point. The, so the controls here are a little weird. I'm going to have to get used to that. Oh, but you can turn all the way around. It felt like you couldn't at first. Oh, snap. You can dive? What? Okay. I don't really know if I need to be picking up these shells, but where are we at? Okay, we're almost to the star. It's not as far as it looks, I think. I wish I could have like an upper view of everything. Because this view here is weird. What is that? says open oh tab is open pockets okay I'm gonna move all this stuff in there for now let's see if we can settings uh, let's see all right hold to move camera hold and click to quickly move stacks um, So let's see. There we go. Alright, I want to leave the camera at that kind of angle there. So I was using shift to run because that's typically what it is in normal game and usual games, but cannot hold shift. Wait a minute. Okay. I don't know why I, I don't see the star on our map. I do feel like we should be collecting as many logs as we can on the way here. I don't really know if there's anything that can harm me right now. I think we're almost... Ooh, I hear bees. I don't know if they can... I'm sure they can get me. The bush. Ooh, what is that? Uh-oh. <laughs> Hopefully I got away. This place is not flat like I anticipated. There's lots of turkeys here. Alright, where are we in relation to the water? I think I want to be near water. This place looks eerie. I mean, is this enough water or should I go? I feel like I should probably come like back there. We'll go to the. We'll just follow this river along until we find a good spot. Because I think. I don't think we want the city center to be like at the edge near the big open body of water. Maybe actually this lake here would be a good spot. Yeah, we'll do it here. Alright, so... We're like in between a lake and a river. So let me get my bedroll back out. Base tent. 
And where should we build it exactly? Right there for now. Yes. So, this is where you decided to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Tafiti. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you, too. I know it's not much, but it will be a place you can call home. Now, there is plenty of room to spread out here on Tafiti, so please take time to place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit, so keep that in mind while you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the base tent getting things ready. Come and speak to me once you've placed your tent. Okay. I didn't know I was going to get my own separate tent, but that's pretty cool. So where do I want my personal tent to be? I don't want it to be too far because it sounds like we're going to be going back to the base tent a lot. But... A nice beach view would do. So let's place it... here yes okay we got our tent let's go see oh what you call it you found a good place for your tent I know it's not much but I hope you like your new home I'll tell you what you've got the spark burner you see most people back in South City are scared of leaving there's something about that place that pulls the spark out of people but I'll tell you what we certainly aren't the first to leave have you ever heard of the traveling trader John no I haven't I'll tell you what he's a bloody legend rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once trading is his very blood John got in contact with me with me before we left South City he's interested in visiting with a shop here I'll tell you what we can't miss an opportunity like this I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him that way we'll have a place ready for any visitors who come to Tafiti I'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is just be sure it's close by we want visitors to feel like part of the Tafiti community while they're here who knows maybe we can convince them to set up a permanent shop here be sure to talk to me once you've placed the visiting site deed okay all right so that being said my house is like over here hers is there maybe we'll put the visiting site deed oh I'm zoomed way in there we go. Um, I think we'll put it here. Yes. <clears throat> Excellent place where anyone visiting Tafiti can set up camp. You know what else I want to do is I want to see if I can turn off her talking because that's a really annoying character's voice. Perfect. Okay. Talk to Fletch. So we're all set for visitors, huh? Well done, Britter. We've only been here for a little while, but you've achieved so much already. You remind me of my father. He was born right here on Tafiti, you know? He was a true blue adventurer through and through. He loved doing new things and keeping track of all his milestones in his adventurer's journal. I wanted to come here and try and meet those milestones myself, but I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, Britter. <laughs> Please, I want you to take his adventurer's journal never heard that one please keep good care of it this is your adventure now heck yeah we're a little adventurers that journal means a lot to me but I think my dad would be glad someone like you is looking after it 
but I have a challenge for you, Ritter. I want you to try and beat my father's milestones. Some of these milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there is no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to the journal. These will be smaller milestones that should be easy to complete in just one day. Now for the good part. For every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually, but we can talk more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you're, you've actually completed some of the milestones inside. So be sure to claim them. Now, are you hungry? I am. I think it's just about lunchtime. I've seen fruit growing around this island and that sounds tasty. You go and find us some fruit and when you get back, I'll show you how to craft a campfire. Heck yeah. All right, let's see the journal. What do we get? Harvest three bush lime trees, catch two bugs, craft one item. Shells are nature's way of littering. Here's a milestone for picking up those bad boys. Heck yeah. All right. Not heck yeah, shell yeah. All right, camper, a place to rest your head, your new home for now. Here's a milestone for placing your tent. Every adventure starts somewhere and yours starts here. Here's a milestone for placing the base tent. Heck yeah. I think that's all our milestones. So we need to harvest three bush lime, catch two bugs, and craft one item. Find something to eat. We did. Talk to Fletch. Mighty. <laughs> what is... Oh, so I have 250 coins already? I also want to turn down... that a little bit okay now let's go back and talk to Fletch oh you found something to eat eating food will help keep your energy up here is the recipe for a campfire I found these stones earlier so you can use these to craft your campfire You'll have to find some wood yourself though. Feel free to use the crafting table and the base tent to start a campfire. To craft a campfire. Take your time, Britter. When you are done, come and have a chat with me. I have a gift for you. Okay, we got some rock and campfire recipe. So we need to build the campfire. Okay rock path, cooking table, and crafting table. Oh, we got a ways to go for that, it looks like. And that. Okay, let's go talk to Fletch. I'm very impressed with the work you've done here today, Britter. I think there is a great future for us all here at Tafiti. Here is a gift for helping me out so much. It's a bug net. I think you should take the rest of the day off. Maybe you could go catch some of the bugs around here. Or maybe you could cook some of that fruit you found. Oh, and before I forget, take the sleeping bag too. When you get tired, pop that on the ground and have a lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night's rest will do us both good. Thanks for your help today, Britter. I can't believe we're on Tafiti. I couldn't have done any of this without you. Bug Nick, catch those creepy crawlies. Okay. So, that being said, let's try to catch our bug here. I've seen all kinds of bugs before I got the net. And now, of course, I see no bugs. Oh, there's a butterfly. I caught a blue moon butterfly. Heck yeah. All right, we gotta catch one more bug. I hope those kangaroos don't mess with me. Ooh, what's that? Roo poo. <laughs> Oh, I guess I should have left the root poo because the bugs might come to it. Here, 
Here's my house. I need one more bug. Oh, there it is. I caught a scarlet something. What was it? Oh, I guess it doesn't keep track of that. Bugs. That's the other one. A Scarlet Jezebel Butterfly. Okay, we caught two bugs, and now we gotta harvest three bush lime. All right, we're gonna harvest three bush lime. I feel like I've seen those before, but I'm not quite sure where. Is that it? Not sure if anything in here will attack me yet. I haven't seen anything yet that will attack me. Oh, it sounds like those guys will. I think they will definitely attack me. Bush lime, where are you at? Found it lots of gum log. Cactus figs. Rue poo. Does it show us what it looks like? Oh, I think that's those from those trees. Do I have some already? I do. I think it's the ones in the trees. Okay, I've been only looking at the bushes. It's the smaller type trees, I think. And I honestly don't know that I found any over here. Oh. I'm going to jump over here. see any more of those trees. Oh, there we go. How many did I need? Oh, I got them all. Awesome. Alright. Now we're gonna go head on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crocodile. Yep, I don't want to mess with him right now. I'm glad that it seems like I can run away from any enemies that I encounter right at the moment. Because I don't have anything to defend myself with at all. Oh, that looks like a hyena. Where's my house? Okay, I just need to cross the river. I don't know if any of those fish can hurt me. I guess it would be helpful if I put the campfire down somewhere. I guess I'll go ahead and put it down in front of her house. I wish I could take that tree out. Oh, I caught myself on fire. Oh, come on. Come on. Hope I don't catch the whole bush on fire. So 
so how do you cook on it? Insert. Okay. So what did it make it? What did it turn it into? Did I collect it? Oh no, I didn't. Cooked bush lime. Okay, so let's compare these. This one gives us two hearts, three energy. This one gives us four hearts and six energy. I would say it's worth it to cook it for sure. I wish you could insert more than one at a time. I guess that's what that cooking table is going to do, is going to help with. All right, I'm going to eat one of these. Nice. All right, and then we're gonna put our sleeping bag down. And go to sleep. Sleep until tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this end of this video here, but I'll see you guys next time. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments about this game. And thanks for hanging out, bye.